Hello everyone on YouTube, Variety Stick back for another video and this video I'm going to show you how to bypass the Google account for the LG Stylo 2, LG Stylo 2 Plus for Metro PCS. This unit that I have right now it's a Cricut and I have used the same mode on Boost Mobile and it did work just fine and also on Metro PCS uh, for on the Stylo 2 Plus it should work with no any problems. And also I'm going to try to pay your attention. I'm not trying to help anyone who steal phones or find phones. If you find phones, please bring these phones back to the owners. But a lot of victims, they don't know their phone or the Google account that was on the phone. So they locked up with the Gmail account and there is no way to bypass this. So these videos that I'm doing here in Writer Stick just to help you out to bypass Google account if you own your phone. So without any further ado, that's gonna go step by step to find out how you can do it. Let me before we start this video it may be long than normal and it's gonna take a lot of uh, process and a lot of steps as well so you have to pay your attention about every single step I'm doing on the video first let's gonna start with this screen that's you have the Gmail account you totally forgot what's your Gmail account and you locked with this uh, screen that you guys see on the display and then make sure you connect to Wi-Fi or any sort of 4G because you need connection in this process and then the first step go to where you can just type anything you want and make sure to type anything randomly and try to hold in the text like that and then you will see this pop three dots over here it should take you to assist go ahead and click on assist and that should take you to a Google Google now so you are in Google now now we are in Google now as I said and you need to go to sitting you have just to follow my steps other than that it will be hard for you to do the Google bypass and then from the settings the first step we need to go to apps right now I'm in the apps there's three dots in the top show all system apps okay so we have it like that but before we do this let me uh, show you another step I have to do it first okay go to security and then you have to go to phone administration and also want to show you the unknown source is not enabled at this moment we're gonna do enabling for the unknown source because we need to download a quick short application so you can just go ahead and disable the Android device manager once it's deactivated you're fine just go back and go back to apps and then you have to show all system apps now you have just to keep sc uh, scroll down till you see a setup wizard there should be two setup wizards over here all right so we find the first one go ahead and click on this one and say stop force and then go to storage and clear any cache of data you have if you don't have it's okay and go ahead and do the same thing with the setup wizard the second one uh, we've made this one already stop force the other one make sure these two for two has to be clear with the cache like this and then there is another important step we need to make right now go up and then you have to go to Google services I'm just trying to go up a little bit Google Play services you need to disable Google Play services before that it wasn't even let you do it so go ahead and disable it may be the, my phone is lagging a little bit okay so just make sure okay okay so once it says enable that means it's disabled already now we're gonna move on to another important step now what you have to do basically go back to the welcome screen and hit 
on this display where you can connect to Wi-Fi. I'm already connected to Wi-Fi, but go ahead like this, do random text and hold. Once you see share, click on share. And then you should see this display, go to Gmail, and then hit next, and then enable Google Play Services one more time. So we're gonna say hit, go ahead and do enabled. Now it's enabled, go back. I know it's too many steps, but this is the only way very much to do it. So go ahead, add Wi-Fi network, do the same what you just did right now, but this time go to assist. Now you have to go to setting on the phone and we need to go to uh, security. And now the unknown source is enabled in your phone. Just go ahead and do allow. Once the unknown source is allowed, so what you have to do, you have just to go back to Google now and search under Chrome. So we are on Chrome right now. All right. And I need you to type this website. This is back to Root Junkie. So big shout out for Root Junkie. You can subscribe to his channel as well. So he helps us a lot doing uh, bypass as well. And the, I'm gonna put this on the screen and the description box, but I'm gonna just go hit frp.f0il.com. So you should go to this website and then you have step two and Google account manager. Go ahead and download step two and allow. This very much work in any style of phone, I believe, after the latest batch that's already pushed. Here you go. So we have two is downloaded already. Now you can open them from here, but I want to just show you in case if this pop doesn't show on your phone, go to Google now and just say file and this should take you to file manager. Say accept and you're going to be in this. Now screen. the two application that we have already downloaded this should be on the download you can just go ahead for now download shortcut maker accept sometimes just takes about like a few minutes maybe a little bit less just you have to be patient then just say done and then the other file that we have downloaded already GM2 whatever these links I'll leave it on the description box as well as I'm gonna put them on the uh, screen so you guys can see this now we downloading Google account manager say done now go ahead and just do a quick shortcut maker and open quick short maker now you have just to search under Google account manager if you are in Google account manager you have to go to type email and password so go ahead and click on this one and then try as everybody gonna see three dots on the top and then browse to sign in and then you have to put any other Gmail account you have or your Gmail account whatever email from Gmail you have you can use it at this point for security reason I'm gonna skip this point and we'll come I have to you now I have put my email and then a password just go ahead and just sign in like that and the phone should take a few seconds once this is done what you have to do you have to restart your device just make a regular restart and we can we will come back to you after the restart after we've done the uh, the restart, just go ahead, you will see this, it's already network connected. Go ahead and click next. And let me just explain a few things. Uh, I've seen my videos on the other channel, so please guys, do not copy my videos and post it in your uh, channels. For some people, they do this because they have the right. I've been working so hard to do these videos just to get benefits for the public. And now the phone account is added. Just go ahead and hit next.
you can share the video with your friends you can just send it you can watch the video but just to copy the video that will be against the copyright and we here in Variety Stick we do our best just to help you out now the phone is gonna stick about a second and after that it should tell us that the account is added We're still waiting. As I said before, this method could work for the Stylo 1 on the latest patch on Marshmallow. Stylo 2 Plus for Cricket, Sprint, Verizon, if there is Verizon uh, variant, Metro PCS Stylo 2 Plus, they don't have the Stylo 2. This is this phone is a Cricut, and I may believe if even if you have the International Unlock version as well, it should work. Now we can say do not restore, or you can restore your stuff and just, just say skip I don't need to put password or security or anything like that and then you just have to hit agree next next and then I can agree with this and then your phone back to the business you can I would recommend this point to if you want to choose use the phone with this email go ahead and use it if not go ahead delete your email and factory reset the phone you should be good to go that was very much it for now thank you so much for watching everyone subscribe for more on variety stick thumbs up for that video and share if you want as always i'll see you in my next video